Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to Cassandra Elizabeth. Love and fitness. Home of a 20 minute workout. Sometimes shorter, sometimes longer. Always barefoot. Primal movement, pain free. Some meditation, some cat sightings. You get to see some of my art. Um, let's get to it. You're standing at the back of your workspace. You have completed your alignment exercise of choice. You know mine is static back, of course. And we are now going to mobilize. When we do this simple exercise here, we're getting the hip, knee, and ankle unit a chance to warm up, if you will, for lack of a better term. Warm up meaning, you know, the precursor to heavier intensity activity. I know you know what I mean. Relax your toes versus lifting them up. And in fact, if you need a reminder, lift the toes up and notice how much more stiff and rigid you become. You become much more stable. So lifting toes up when you need stability is a perfect idea. When you relax the toes, you suddenly become more fluid, more mobile. The toes are flexible. They aid us in traveling forward on our feet. Okay, let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, press something down close to the belly. I do the heavy talking, you do the heavy breathing. You're gonna inhale through the nose and out the nose or the mouth. As you exhale, feel free to tuck the chin and feel the natural contraction, thus rounding forward that occurs at the body when you breathe out. Now let's change the arms a bit. We're gonna come forward as we inhale and then here we will exhale again. Pushing, pushing, pushing that air out and allowing that abdominal contraction to round us forward. Let's do two more in place and then we'll get moving. Inhale and exhale. As usual, your breathing pace doesn't have to match mine. It can be faster or slower. Does everyone agree that we will be exhaling, if we can, right here, which will begin the start of our movement pattern? Okay, here we go. One more, and then this one is going to take us to crawling out. So I'm going to spread my feet apart a little bit. Exhale. Here comes that abdominal contraction, and then I'm going to hinge a little bit further and come all the way down. And let's walk it out. And give me a little up dog, down dog. Ah, good. Come forward into a soft plank, and then knees are going to come down gently, child's pose. Head forward, stay on the knees for this first one, and give me an opposite arm and leg reach. Inhale, exhale, where it makes the most sense, as usual. Good work. Now get ready for a push-up, and you can take that off or on the knees. Good work. Let's pike up. One leg comes up. Take it forward into a mountain climber. Nice and strong. Good. Step back. Down dog. Other leg's going to come forward. Mountain climber. Good. Now take that leg all the way up. Set it down and meet its partner. Walk your hands back. Heels drop. Oh, let's rise up. That's a lot. Let's do it again. We can do it. Exhale here, pressing something down, down, down. Abs contract, hinge, 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 and walk out for me. Up dog, down dog. If you can inhale here, that's perfect. And if you can exhale and down dog, there you go. Inhale into a soft plank. And then the knees are going to come down, and you're going to exhale if you can in child's pose. When you're ready, come forward. Stay on the knees or come off the knees and give me opposite arm and leg reach. Ooh, a lot more challenging off the knees. Oh yeah. Good, get ready for a push up on or off the knees. And we're gonna pipe one leg up. Bring it in front for mountain climber. Stay low to the earth. Feel the stretch on that extended thigh. Step back, down dog. Good, pipe the other leg up. Step forward into that mountain climber. 
Good, you stay low to the earth. Ah, oh, I feel that stretch, good. Take the leg back up, just bring it down to meet its partner and walk back. Very good, we're gonna do it one more time. Inhale, exhale, press something down. Good, 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 good. Make sure you have the crown of the head leading the way. Look ahead now, open up the heart. Squeeze the back, upper back, squeeze, 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 down dog. And come into a soft plank. And then it's into the child's pose. Exhale, feel that stretch across your back, low mid back, maybe even up into the upper back. Come forward on or off the knees. I'm gonna stay on my knees. You can come off the knees if you want to. I'm just gonna alternate it. Get ready for your push up. On or off the knees. Good work. Pike one leg up. Doesn't matter which right now because we're gonna take them both in front of that mountain climber. Feel that stretch. One, two. Pike up. Good. Other leg. Bring it up to the sky. Good. Step it forward and come in, good. Now let's bring it back to the down dog and let's take the other leg in front, take a big step on the outside of the hand and stand up for me. Nicely done, take a moment to make sure you feel balanced. Lift the forward set of toes, up, up, up. Now let's shift so we're facing one another and pull it in for a windmill. Good, toes up, toes up, toes up. Pull it up, 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 up. Good, keep this hand up top, take a step out, slide this hand down, triangle. Good, bring both hands. Imagine you have a set of weights, one in each hand. And let's turn again and we're gonna do a little hinge. And we're gonna rise, good work. Take a step forward, reach your arms up and let's come down hinging you're gonna step back or jump back, whatever you prefer. Good, pull an elbow up and give me a nice rotation. Come back down. I know it's a lot, you can do this. Bring it up and come back down. Nicely done, walk the hands back. Plant the heels, good, and rise. Good, 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 good. I'm just gonna switch sides. You can stay right where you are or you can switch sides with me so we continue to face each other from the top. We exhale and press something down, and let's take it out, walk it out. Little up dog, down dog. Yes we can, yes we can. We come to that soft plank into child's pose. <sighs> Heading forward, on or off the knees, opposite arm and leg reach. Oh. Push up, on or off the knees. And we've got our mountain climber. So one leg is gonna come up. Good, bring it forward. Come down, one, 1,002. The knee and back doesn't have to touch the earth, bring the other leg up. I'm just choosing today to bring my knee down. So in other words, in your mountain climber, you can be right here, knee off the earth. It's up to you. All right, here we go. Let's bring it back. All right, now let's take the other leg in front, or it could be in the same leg that you just had, right? So that now we're up on the other side. Whatever it takes to be now on the other side. <laughs> okay, take a moment, lift up forward set of toes, squeeze your inner thighs. Now, I want you to pull this arm up and shoot it up. Remember that maneuver from another video? Oh yeah, we're gonna come up, up, up. And then we're gonna take a slightly wider Stands and go, slide, slide, slide. Good work. Imagine that you got one weight in each hand and you're gonna step forward for me. You're gonna reach up. Good, hinge down. Step or jump back, you choose. Good, elbow's gonna come up. Ah, nice rotation, good. Let's rotate on the other side. Let's stay here for just a moment. Because here's what we're going to do. We're going to go arm, arm. Let's do that again. Arm, arm. And notice you can move your feet as needed. Okay? You can move the feet as you need to. Last time, arm, arm in rotation. Good. Okay, now 
Let's do that hook. Hook the foot. Hook the foot back. Other side. Hook the foot. There we go. Woo. <laughs> Two more. Come on. One more time. One more time. Good. Excellent. Now, let's go ahead and pike up. Walk our hands up to meet the feet, feet up to meet the hands, whatever it takes, bring them together, drop the tailbone, rise. Let's take it from the top. Inhale here, my friends. Exhale, press down. Hinge and using abdominals to take you towards the earth. Is it getting easier to just do that first maneuver? I hope so. Let's go, open up the heart, squeeze the back of the heart, open up the front. Pike up, down dog, push the hips back. Right? Hips are going to come forward into your soft plank. Hips will pull you back into child's pose. Hips are going to bring you forward into your opposite arm and leg reach from your toes or your knees. Alternate. Good work. Okay. Push up from knees or toes. Elbows stay low and close to the body. Pike the hips up. Good work. Three-legged dog. Bring one leg up. Ah, take it forward, mountain climber. Hover back knee or let the back knee land. Now, with the other legs, we're going to do the whole stepping up maneuver business. Okay, so let's pike back up. Good. Other leg comes up. Good. Now take it forward. Definitely don't bring the knee down, but stand up. Good work. Okay, squeezing, squeezing. Now I'm going to hinge a little bit and I'm going to pull this arm up. Good, and I'm gonna bring it down for windmill. And up. I'm gonna take a step out. And slide down. Good, here come the imaginary pair of weights. I'm gonna step forward, I'm gonna reach up. And I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna set those weights down. I'm gonna step or jump back. Nicely done. I'm gonna go arm, arm, hook, hook. So arm, arm, now get ready. We're gonna hook the foot. One, and two, good work, pike up, and then bring everything together, hands and feet, feet and hands, whatever it takes, drop the tailbone, rise, inhale, exhale, press down, 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 let's go, we gotta walk out, up dog, down dog, all the way through, come on, good, forward into the soft plank, and back into the child's pose. Forward on or off the knees, opposite arm and leg reach. What's after opposite arm and leg reach? You are positive it's the push up. Oh yeah, let's go push up. Okay. Let's go, pike it up, three legged dog. This leg comes forward for a mountain climber. The knee can come down on this side. We'll take the other side up to do all our upward business. Pike up. Good. Other leg comes up. Now step forward. Extended knee stays off the earth. We rise. Get stable. Hinge. Pull and rise. Nice. Now we go down into windmill. How is this feeling? Is windmill and triangle feeling easier at this point? Good. Imagine perhaps a set of weights, one in each hand, pressing up, hinge, coming down, step, or jump back. Oh yeah, pull an arm up, rotate arm, arm. And it's time to hook the foot. Whew, good. Now let's do arm, arm, whoop, there we go, come on. <laughs> arm, arm, one more time. And hook the foot one more time. Now we're gonna go into a down dog and a kick through. So give me a down dog. Oh, good, and now I'm gonna kick through. Good, down dog, kick through on the other side. Come on, let's go. Rotate the body, okay? You're using rotator cuff, right? You're rolling around that shoulder. Pike, pike, kick through. Pike, pike, kick through. One more time, each side. Pike, pike, kick through. Here we go, last one. Up, up, 
Kick through, pike all the way up. Walk hands and feet together, feet and hands, hands and feet. Drop tailbone, rise. Inhale, exhale, hinge. Abdominal contraction, walk all the way out. Here we go, up dog, down dog. Forward, soft plank into child's pose. Another plank for opposite arm and leg reach, on or off the knees. What's next, what's next, push up. Can you do a one arm push up? Can you add a clap? Just make it happen. Oh yeah, let's all pike up. We're gonna bring one leg up, forward for the mountain climber. Oh yeah, good. Now bring it back together. Other leg comes up, come forward, here we go. We're upright, upright, upright. But I'm buddying, right? We're upright. Now we're gonna hinge forward, pull and press. Good work, mountain climber. I'm not, this isn't a mountain climber. <laughs> it's a windmill. Pull, pull, pull. We take a step out. Triangle. Imaginary weights come together. They press up. We hinge down, step or jump back. You call it arm, arm with that rotation, right? We have a hook the foot. And then we've got pike to kick through. Let's go. Pike it up. Kick it through. Pike it up. Kick it through. One more each side. Pike it up. Kick it through. Pike it up. Kick it through. Let's go. Hands, arms, feet together. Let's go. Inhale. Press down. Exhale. From the top, we walk out. Big deep breath in through the nose, my friends, right now. In through the nose, out the nose, or the mouth. Because I want you to build an inhale right here. Settle in for a moment, take a deep breath in. Exhale into your down dog. Good work, inhale forward that small plank and another long breath out in your child's pose. When you've emptied the tank of oxygen, you're back up for opposite arm and leg reach. Oh. Yes. Good work. Push up, my friends. Come on. What's next? All our mountain climber business. Let's go. So we're going to bring one leg up. Take it forward. We feel that nice stretchy stretch. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Good. Other leg is going to come up. And this is the one that's in the front, right? It's in the front. And we rise up, right? We're up, 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 up. We've got that nice stability going. We're gonna hinge and pull up. Good work. And now we've got that windmill. <sighs> Triangle. <sighs> Bring some weights together. Overhead. Jumper step back. <sighs> Rotate the body, pull an arm. Other side. <sighs> Hook the foot. And we get ready to pike and kick through. Come on. Pike it up. Kick it through. Pike it up. Kick it through. One more time each side. Piking it up. Come on. Pike, pike, pike. Kick through. Last one. This one here is going to take us down onto our back side. Good work. We're going to give ourselves 10 bridges. One, two, three, four, six to go. Count them down. Five, four, three, two. Now for this version, this version, you're going to tilt your pelvis so you press the small of your back down. Make yourself a comfortable double chin pillow. Pick the knees up. With this chin pillow, lift the head. Clasp fingers, put weight of head back into hands. All right, extend one leg out. Rotate to the opposite partner knee. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, switch. Inhale and exhale. Now once more, keep going, keep going. 
I want you to use your breath. If your breath right now is quicker, then you're moving quicker. It's your breath, okay? You're exhaling as you rotate, and you're going to inhale and exhale right into the other side. So the inhale is that transition. So it's your pace, your pace, your pace. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. I'm going to do a few with you. Here we go. Keep going a few more seconds. Some of you started out quicker and then you slowed down, so it might be a little bit harder. If you need a break for head and neck, take it. You are using some neck muscles. It's impossible not to, but support, support, support for five, four, three, two, and a very gentle knee to chest, knee to chest, and then sway. Sway, sway, sway. Good work, good work, good work. Quality in our crunches versus quantity. It's going to give us results, and it's going to be nice on the spine, and everything ends and begins, begins and ends with the spine. So we always want to take that into account, especially with crunches. All right, so I'm going to roll side to side. Join me, join me, and I'm going to roll, and I'm going to come up basically to a seated position. I'm going to come back down and roll and come up. All right, so I'm going to come down. Here we go. And I'm up. So I'm getting down with that crunch and getting up with extension. Am I using some support? Absolutely. Curling in. Elbow on the floor is going to assist. Okay, so exhale, crunch. Can I inhale here? Can I exhale, curl? Now, if you don't want to use any assistance with your hands, you don't have to. Tuck them in front. <laughs> it's a lot more challenging when you're not using your hands. Keep going. So, or your elbow. So use the elbow if you need to, or pick them up, or alternate. Keep moving. Basically, this is our get down and get up for today's version. Get down and get up. And you're going to give me about 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Rolling. Eight, seven. Six, five, a four, three, two, don't stop, don't stop, two, don't stop, don't stop, and one. Nicely done, nicely done. On your feet, on your feet, get right up, get right up. Good work, good work on the body weight routine today. Big deep breath in for my arms up overhead, and they're going to come together, press down, exhale. Just standing up is going to get that heart rate going, so breath is going to be faster for a moment. One more time with hands up overhead. And then we're going to go back to just what we did in the very beginning for three more breaths. And then I'm going to let you go. Okay, just three more breaths with me. Come up, lazy wrist, pull in and exhale. Good work. Now you might need more than these two more breaths, but we're just going to do these two more together. We want to come down, let the heart rate come back to normal, whatever that might be for you in the day you're in, in the moment you're in, depending on what you have to do for the rest of your day. Last one, and exhale. Great work, my friends. Okay, hopefully you're watching this on the Week 7 playlist, or it's popping up in your video stream somewhere, and it's a part of a bigger routine. I want you to keep breathing, keep stretching, keep lifting, and most of all, keep loving yourself, and I'll see you next time.